Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn love reading for December 11th and 12th. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. All right, so we're going to get some Romance Angels, and then we're going to get some Tarot, and then some Clarifiers if I feel that's needed, and then close out with an Oracle. All right, so we had this card came flying out, calling in your soulmate. And then we have finances and career, we have getting to know each other, and we have separation. So it could be that you are not with your person right now. Um, right now, it could be that you're not in union since we have calling in your soulmate. Um, let's see, what cards do I want to use? Um... It could be that you just met someone that you feel a connection with, but for work reasons, you know, they may live in a different area or they may have to do a lot of traveling. So it's, you're still in the getting to know each other phase. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. We have calling in your soulmate. We have the Hermit, so you may be single right now for some of you. We have the Six of Pentacles, and we have Two of Cups, so that represents a relationship. You saw make connection coming in. All right, we have Finances and Career. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Six of Swords. So one of you may be busy working, and you know, like you're building a company or you're building a business or you got a new position in your job and there's some really good things happening right now that you're trying to push to move forward so if you maybe just met maybe that's why I was saying that there is a separation because for work purposes or if you're not in union it could be that the other person is busy working on their career and that's why you are not in union right now and that's why you are single getting to know each other making sure that when you get to know each other that it's starting new and starting fresh and it's not bringing up things from your past that it's not not putting that energy from past relationships into this new relationship that's coming in for you not not carrying that that forward all right queen of cups six of cups and five of swords this may be somebody that you've known um from your childhood or had a past relationship with we've got page of wands and that's about communicating so somebody could be communicating with you that was a past relationship or you knew when you were a child um and like i said they the other person may be working on a business and working on things and busy doing that. But I do feel with the Page of Wands as an overall energy, that's about communication. That's about reaching out. That's about um, connecting with someone. Um, and like I was saying, that when you do connect, just make sure that that you're starting new, starting fresh. Now, if this is somebody from your past, okay, that is coming back in, make sure that if there were some issues that you work through those right in the beginning, that you that is not something that is hampering the relationship once it gets started. Um, it's either dealt with at the beginning and then moved on from, or it's just left all together this also could re represent that if it's not someone from your past it's somebody who I feel like it represents somebody who's very young somebody who is playful somebody who's a lot of fun somebody who who's really fun to hang out with um, it's just about enjoying the time together and doing things that you both like and just there's no stress on the relationship it's just about enjoying the time together it's really like easy going I feel um, 
So, um, I would definitely say, you know, just if you're single, keep moving forward, stay in a good place. If somebody connects with you, make sure that you, you know, if it's someone you knew from before, make sure that you don't bring baggage in or you work that through in the beginning and start with a new clean slate. Or um, if it's, you know, just enjoying the time together. Even if that person, like I said, may have some work things that they have to do, it's still about getting to know each other, you know, keeping that connection going. I do feel that it's very positive energy. Someone's very busy though with work, especially with this line here. Like I feel like someone's very busy with work. All right, so let's get, let's close out with a romance card. All right, sharing. Making sure you keep the lines of communication open. Not letting work get in the way of the relationship. Even though that's important, but you also it's also important to always work on the relationship and and keep that keep that going. Okay. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. Remember, love is the greater healer, okay? That's what I was saying. That's kind of like that final energy that I was thinking about was just laughter and having fun and enjoying the time together and having that playfulness, you know, whatever that is without having the weight of the world on your shoulders and just kind of having that as an escape as your time with this person. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.